Hello everyone, this is Robert, and in this video we're going to be talking about center punches. I've got a few different types in front of me. These are all the ones that I have and use regularly in my shop. So I wanted to just make a quick little video to talk about kind of the little differences and nuances between all of them. You can definitely check out the chapters below if you don't want to watch this whole video and just skip to the sections that you want. So what is a center punch and why should you care? Well, let's say you have a piece of material that you're drilling into. This could be uh, metal, it could be wood, it could be whatever. You got your drill bit and it's just gonna wander all over the place. Obviously, that's an extreme example. You can drill straight holes without a center punch, but what a center punch does is it puts a little divot into your material. So now the drill can find its way in and it's not going to sit there and skate all along the surface. Um, this is useful for pretty much any time you drill. It's generally a good idea to have one of these on hand and add that little divot. The difference between the ones I have in front of me is basically how it's used and how good of a divot you can actually get into various different materials. So let's start with just a good old classic punch. Every shop should have a good set of punches or even a cheap set of punches. There's actually something to be said if it's a little bit softer because then you can use it to like uh, push out bearings and things like that. They're just very useful whenever you want to apply a force to a very small area. So in this case, that's all we're doing is we're just kind of putting this against the workpiece. Obviously we'd measure this and just hammer it and there is your little divot. The nice thing about these is that it's simple, they're cheap, and it's pretty reliable. And also because you're hammering it in, you can really control the amount of a divot that you're putting in. So if you're doing this into a softwood, I don't really know why you would do that. You'd maybe just push this in directly. But if you're doing it into a certain type of wood, um, you can actually tap lightly, you can tap really hard. And obviously if you're going into much harder materials, you can really wail on it. So you can really kind of adjust the size of the dimple. And this can be important for various different reasons. You can also get these in a lot of different sizes. I have some longer ones. I have some stubby ones. I have this whole drawer full of just various sizes. And that's what's nice. They are useful for many other things as well. However, it is a two-handed operation and you gotta go find where you put the hammer. I thought it was over there. I guess I misplaced it. Oh, it's right in front of me. So you always gotta kind of find the hammer. So that's a little bit annoying. So that's where these spring-loaded guys come in. I'm sure all of you have seen a spring-loaded center punch like this. Um, you just press down and when it hits a certain point, it just kind of punches. So just kind of do like that. And you can see you press and then it'll just sit there and create a little dimple. These are nice and handy because it's just one hand and you can just very easily punch. The downside to these is they just don't have that much force. You can adjust them. Um, this one you kind of unscrew the back and on this one you also unscrew the back. But the thing is that maximum setting, they really don't produce that large of a divot. So this one is at the maximum. This is S7 tool steel. And I can barely feel that with my finger and you can really not even catch on it very easily. So a drill bit is probably not going to find that very easily. And same with this one. They just don't have enough force to really punch into a harder material. So these are great for woodworkers or any kind of softer materials. I use these all the time for aluminum. I always have one of these at my drill press and it's really easy to just grab it and punch it straight down in. But if you're looking for more precise or something that works with a um, harder material, you might wanna look at these guys. They're my new favorite. So these punches don't really have an official name. They're made by a company called Spring Tools. You can find these on Amazon. I have a link down below, of course. Um, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. And this really is kind of, you know, full disclosure, the impetus for doing this video because I just recently got these and they're really neat and I like them as an alternative to the traditional spring punch. The way they work is you have these two hardened steel pieces and they're just held together by this spring. So when you pull the spring away, that's what creates the punching motion. And the nice thing is because it is a spring, it's adjustable, so you can do just a little bit, or you can really pull this thing back if you want. So if we go back to our little block of aluminum, let me just make a little punch with this guy. That is our tiny little divot right there. Let me grab this one. 
that is our massive divot. And of course you can control that. So if I want a smaller one, I can do that. I can go bigger. So it's really nice to be able to kind of adjust it by hand. And it's really easy because it's very intuitive. They come in a few different sizes. This one is just a um, straight plunger and this one has two different ends on it. They even have some with a flat so you can use it as like a nail set. If you have a nail that's sitting a little bit proud, you can just punch it back into place really easy. The other nice thing about these is they are very, very hard and you can get a really, really nice divot into even a steel. And yeah, that is definitely going to be found by a drill. So yeah, I really like these. They're inexpensive. They feel like a quality tool. They're actually made in the USA and all that good stuff. So I'll provide a link down below. Um, these definitely have their place and I definitely think these have their place. And I also think the traditional punches still have their place, but I kind of have all three of them on hand at any given time. So I guess lastly, in terms of cost, these are all about the same amount of money. Um, these spring load punches are $10 a piece. If you have one of these and you're looking for an extra one, I highly recommend getting the one with the little um, grip at the end because this thing, as you notice, rolls all around and this has a couple flats on it. So it stays put and it's a lot more comfortable to use than that one. So something to keep in mind, but both of these are 10 bucks, links down below. A punch set is gonna be anywhere from between 10 and $20. There's a huge range of quality and also the number of punches that you get in the set. But yeah, somewhere around 10 bucks, you can get a small, reasonable quality set. And these guys are about $10 a piece. I like the double-ended one for no good reason. And I also like this one just because, I don't know, it feels more official or something like that. It just well, kind of looks nice. Um, but either of these are gonna be 10 bucks as well. And the fit and finish on these is really nice. Um, this goes right along with, you know, a high-end German tool, but you can definitely tell that this is like a nice American-made tool, so. That is all I have to say about center punches. Hopefully you learned maybe a little bit of something from this video. And as always, check me out on my Facebook page for any updates to my channel and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.